So you may have seen me play Dota Auto Chess a while ago, which is a very popular mod for the game Dota 2. So a lot of companies now have scrabbled together their own versions of Dota Auto Chess. The guys that made the mod for Dota 2 have their own mobile game. Even Riot Games and League of Legends are making their own kind of auto chess. But Dota and Valve themselves have made their own version. Now I played one game before recording it because I thought, you know what, I'll try it out. But I don't want to make too many stupid rookie mistakes because I wanted to know at least the basic buttons before we started recording it. And Sod's Law, the game I wasn't recording, the first game I played, just like Auto Chess, I did get a victory. So I promise I'm not super terrible. So let's go in and play this game. And I'm going to go for exactly the same build that I went for before. So if you've played Auto Chess, it's going to be very familiar to you. You even fight the same creeps and use the same heroes. There's a few extra additions to the team. Another thing is though, the unit types and categories have changed a lot. So for example, Drow Ranger is Heartless, which is basically another way of saying she's undead. And she's a Hunter, and that carries over from Dota Auto Chess as well. Oof, now usually I prefer um, some attack damage, but we got some attack speed here, so that'll have to do. Last game I got very lucky, I got nothing but attack damage uh, items and I could just spread those across my hunters and they did amazingly well. So we're going to go for a warrior a warrior front line with some archers behind and that's why Tiny is a good shout. So we'll get him out there, boom. Now it's the same as old auto chess, every time you, uh, you win a round you get some XP. As you level up you can unlock higher tier heroes, higher tier chess pieces and you get more chess pieces to put down. So we're at two units on the board at the moment, and uh, we should get three before we start fighting another player. But I bought two tinies because I want to get a third one so I can upgrade him to two star. So you basically put three heroes, one star together, and they become a two star hero. Soul Sucking Siphon. Allied units away from Warlocks heal 25% of all damage caused by abilities and items. That's pretty good. In fact, it might be the only good thing we have here. We'll take another Drow Ranger, plonk her on the board. Uh, there's no one else that I really like out of this lineup, so we'll uh, leave it as it is and put her on the board. So the item that we got from that is the Soul Sucking Siphon. We won't see much use out of that until we get a Warlock. However, this isn't an item that you put on people. This is a passive item that sits in the background uh, and assists you. And that this one will only apply if we have Warlocks. So we're kind of locked into a, a Warlock build almost at the moment. Every time you win against NPCs, like little creeps, minions, you get a choice of three items to pick from. And as the creep waves progress, as you fight harder and harder monsters, you'll get higher tier items that do better things. Demon Hunters gain 30% pure damage for each unique allied demon unit. That sounds crazy. Let's try this. Let's try Strange Bedfellows. We've got a third Drow Ranger now. So we're going to need a Demon Hunter of some sort. get tiny back on the field we could actually upgrade our level there we go now we're level four but we can't afford another hero because we haven't got any gold shame okay i'm feeling pretty confident about this i've got uh, two warriors and my hunter but the hunter's doing so much damage there look at dry ranger spitting out damage so their anti mage is keeping tiny's uh, mana down but it's fine because we still won that conclusively we need to get some use out of these warlocks but luckily uh, a lot of demons oh well, we got this Units apply a stackable 10 damage, savage units and warlocks. This is the worst possible mix. I really wish I'd uh, picked my items quicker. And one thing, you, you, you don't really get very long to pick through your items. So we're going to try and look for some savage units. Now, I think it's important to grab a demon early on because they get quite a boost from being the only demon on the team. We've also got four gold to spend on another dude. So let's put a warlock down because that will help with our item. This is King's Ab... Oh my god. What a name. Alright. So again, we've, we've pretty much conclusively won this. He's gone for the Chaos Knight as well, but it's okay because we've got our own one. And look at that. Four units alive. Easy days. So ideally I want to replace Chaos Knight with Doom when I can get him, because Chaos Knight is a knight. And we really want a warrior to go with uh, our warrior lineup. Uh Okay, who's Savage? Tusk is Savage and he's a warrior, so we'll take him. Oh no, it took Chaos Knight off. What? No! Obviously you want to take off Tiny. I think we might lose this one. It's not looking good. Yeah, big shame. Big slip up from us. Yeah, this has been a terrible round. Look at these items. What am I doing? Five health lost. I, this is where I'd almost just restart the round. 
I've picked up two items that I really didn't want. And I do think it's worth early on. If you get to like around about round five and you feel like it isn't really going your way, just book it. Just duck it. Go into another game. So we'll get Chaos Knight on the field. Pull off Tiny. And this is looking a bit friendlier. We've got some more Drow Rangers down there. That's pretty handy. Might be able to get her to level three if we're lucky. We will put the troll up front because uh, other people will get some health regen from using abilities thanks to him. So yeah. Oh, we got an assassin behind. That's pretty annoying. And our level two drow is super exposed there. She's taking lots of hits. But I feel like we got this in the bag. It seems pretty good. Yeah. So we don't want Shadow Fiend. We can get rid of him. But I'll hold on to him in case we get another one, which we have actually got. And he's a Warlock, which... Does that help us again? I think it does. Yeah, we've got the whole Warlock thing. Units one cell away from Warlocks heal 25% of all damage. So we're going to take off Chaos Knight. Now, because Shadow Demon is the same demon, we should keep that buff that he gives us. But we'll take off the Troll. Yeah, this looks good. So we're looking for the double ulti there. Yeah, there we go. That's some heavy damage gone out. Okay, this is this is looking pretty good. Yeah, we did it. Nice. It was a close call. That was Flexor. How's Flexor doing? Oh, he's pretty low on the old uh, on the old charts. We're falling behind a bit here. Uh, there's another tusk. And there's another tiny actually. So we can upgrade our tiny to be level two. Handy. And we'll buy another level so we can get another player on the field. So who are we gonna put down? It's got to be maybe Tusk. Now we'll put down Troll. He's a Warlock. This guy's got three Druids. Oh yeah, as soon as the Shadow Fiend pops his big spell, that's just going to wipe out half their team. Easy days. So I'm in a better place at the moment. I'm number two on the leaderboard, which means our win streak is going to give us a bit more extra gold. You get one gold for having ten, every ten. You get... I'm not sure how the win streak works, but you get more coins for winning more games. That's basically it. Anything here, Savage? Oh yeah, Lycan's Savage, and he's an, and he's a warrior, which kind of fits him with our idea we got here. Let's get rid of Witch Doctor, but we're not going to put him on the in the trash yet. We're just going to put him out here. So now we have, if you check our synergies, two Savages and three Warriors, one Demon. Perfect. So again, the first fresh creep round, and it's a lot easier than it is in auto chess actually these creeps easy win now item let's pick quickly and get the right one get one which we actually want we're so close actually to having the warlock buff which is allies gain ooh, all allies gain 15 percent lifesteal if we can get another warlock on the field I'm kind of feeling like there's no point in drow even being there at the moment okay here we go wait affected units one on the board one on the bench is this does this stack it might actually stack uh, you know, we're going to leave it. We're going to save our gold. Flexor, who is one of the lowest on the table. Feeling good. He's got 14 gold, which means he's saving his gold. So he probably hasn't spent that much, which means this should be a win for us. Yeah, easy. Easy win. Oh, man, we're top. We're doing okay. Doing okay this game. Oh, hang on a sec. Look at this. It's Venomancer. He ticks both our boxes. He's both a warlock and he is savage. I don't want to, but I might be bringing Drow off the table here. No, I think we might just buy another level. There we go. Oh, wait, I got... Wait. Put Witch Doctor on and not Venomancer. Ooh. I still feel good about this. I still feel pretty good. Yeah, there we go. Wipeout. Holy crap. But let's pull Witch Doctor off and get Venomancer on. Because now we have the extra Savage. If we can get another Savage guy, allies gain 25% attack damage. That's nuts. But we do need to save up some gold as well. Look at this. I mean, some of these guys have 21, 20, 25, 16 coins. We need to start saving up gold. We're getting the win streak, which is great for us. Oh, it's Tusco. So if we click him, he instantly goes on the board and we get an upgrade. Troll Warlord is a warrior. We'll keep him. We'll hold on to him because that might be an investment for down the line. Yeah, look at these synergies. We're doing very well. Up against Shadow, who is bottom of the table. I think he might have booked it. I think he might have left the game. Has he got a lone druid? Interesting. But what we really want to do at the moment is save up our gold. Shadow Fiend, hello! One of those. That'll upgrade our Shadow Fiend. 
a lichen that upgrades our lichen as well and that gives us extra space for another unit how about troll warlord he's a warrior which is really good for us I do like Troll Warlord though, so as Troll Warlord fights the same person, his attack speed ramps up. So he's really good at shredding high level heroes. Rest in peace, Carl. So next is round 15, which should be a creep round. We're up against uh, monsters now. Another Shadow Fiend? Oh, it's Doom. Nah, I'm not too keen. I'm not too keen on Doom. But we will get Warlock, I think, because we could even think about taking out Troll. Ah, uh, no. We'll stick with what we got. We're seven of seven, and this is a this is a solid team. Hasn't let us down yet. We're one away from so many upgrades, though. Right, so these dogs jump around, which makes it bad for our back line. But I think we're okay. Shadow Demon got his uh, Shadow Fiend got his his ability off, and he healed so much from that as well. Actually, the double buff of these warlocks actually really good. So what we really want to be going for is units that do a lot of their damage with spells over basic attacks, which is why Drow, again, doesn't fit our lineup in any way at all, and neither does Troll Warlord, although he is a warrior. So I think we might be looking to replace Drow. Here we go, right. Strange Bedfellows. Demon Hunters gain 30% for each unique allied demon unit. Reflects damage or armor. Do we want to go for a demon setup? We could go full demon. No. No, we're going to get... Oh my god, what did we get? Hello. Lots of Shadow Fiends on there. I'll take that. Even Kunker as well, who's a warrior with a great stun. So we'll pick him up. Now, what item did we get? We got the chainmail. That's pretty good. We can put this on someone that we don't want to die. I reckon we'll put it on Lycan. So our level is seven. Nobody else. Is oh, one person down here is level eight. Looks like they just spent all of their gold. So Yummy is looking to come out these few next few rounds, guns blazing. What you see a lot of is people saving up to about 50 gold. And then as soon as they have 50 gold, spending it all in a massive splurge, and suddenly they have a massive power spike. However, sometimes the damage is already done, and you're already at so low life that you can't really maintain. We're doing pretty well on 95 life, though, so I feel good. I feel good about this. We've got a very strong front line as well. Very strong indeed. We've got 27 gold. But we want to get up to the point that these guys are at. We want to get to about 50 gold. Now, with any luck, we're up against Kings because he's uh, disconnected. Flexor, who is pretty low. Oh, yeah, and look at his lineup. I think this guy um, must have disconnected. He's having a terrible game. Easy game. So I kind of want to get Kunker onto the field. It might be a case of pulling out... Yeah, we're going to pull out Troll Warlord and put Kunker on the field because his stun is very, very valuable. And also that gives us two humans, I believe. Tiny. I don't really want to bother with Tiny. We've already got him at level 2. We're not going to fish for level 3. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. So yeah, what are we looking at here? We've got two humans. That gives us 20% chance to silence targets when attacking. Excellent. One demon. Three savage units, which have a bleed effect. Two warlocks, possibly four. And a whole bunch of warriors. Oh, now this guy's gone heavy hunter. But he's only got two hunters, so they don't get that buff to their uh, attack speed. Oh, look at that stun. Excellent. I really do think this warlock buff with our items is, is really saving our bacon. So now we're on 39 coins in the bank. Whew. So we're going to pick up Witch Doctor in case we can get him to level, uh, level 2. Because that'll be good to get him on the board. In fact... Let's spend some coinage and get another guy out. So we can get... What's going to be the best for Synergy? Let's just probably check out... Troll? Yeah, we'll put Troll out there on the, ball, on the board. Yeah, we're doing great. In comes the boat. Smash! Nice. 95 life. Still not lost. Doing great. What a crazy win streak. Right. Ah, uh, Venomancer. Yes, we wouldn't mind upgrading him. And who else is here that we kind of want? Nobody, really. Let's do a, a shuffle. Uh, again, no luck. Never lucky. Although I do certainly feel like Drow Ranger is something we can drop and perhaps free up some space on our board by getting rid of these two. In fact, let's do it. We're going to say goodbye to Drow and free up some space on our board. We're going Warlock Heavy, and she doesn't really have an ability that will get us extra health. Mages reset the cooldown to get full mana when below 30% health. Units are invisible for the first three seconds of a fight. That sounds pretty good. 
Let's try that. Uh, here we go. Another Warlock. Excellent. Welcome to the party, pal. So Terribril is a real menace to us. Monk's Death has had some success. He's got a level 3 Enchantress. That could be a problem for us. Although, no, she's getting absolutely shredded. Oh, they've got a Kunker. But it's not enough. We shut these guys down hard. Slam. Just the self-healing from my stuff is crazy. Okay, 12 total gold. Nice. 47. Oof. Nothing here that we really want. We'll do another cheeky V-roll. Why not? And again, nothing that we really want. Oh. Let's V-roll. Witch Doctor. Let's get him to level 2. Terrabril. Okay, so this is the one to watch. He's got a pretty scary team, actually. Wait, does he? He does have... Oh, no. Look at that. We smashed him to bits. Or have we? Yeah. Oh, amazing. So we should see a pretty penny from that win. 10 plus the win streak. Interest. 13 total gold. Excellent. Let's keep fishing for something we really want. Like a warlock, yes. And a shadow fiend. Oh, savage. Okay. So we can put this guy out now. Perhaps even bring in the troll. And even switch a ruski these guys. There we go. The double two-star shadow fiend is a scary thing to behold. Oh man, what a win. What a win. Another Venno. Yes. That upgrades our dude to level two. A lone druid. He's savage. We'll buy him, just in case, and the witch doctor, because we're rich. Uh, maybe we take the Venno. Yeah, maybe we do. Flexor. Oh, now Flexor's had a big upgrade to his units, and we could be in trouble here. The damage that he's putting out. Or not. We're fine. It feels like now Drow is surplus to requirements in this lineup. So we're going to sell her. Rest in peace. And bring out the Warlock. Excellent. Another Kunker. That makes our Kunker level 2. Time to start spending some gold on some levels, actually. I'll take that. Another unit on the board. So who are we going to put down? Who works for this lineup? Lone Druid's whispering. He wants a piece of the action. Get in there, my friend. And it's another, it's another creep round. This should be an easy win. The birds are very difficult to get beaten by. Black King Bar. Equipped hero is magic immune. Oh, this is a tricky one. We're going to go for... Oh, we didn't get to choose. God damn it. This is just the way it's going to go for us, isn't it? We got Herd of Defiance. Okay, that's actually not such a bad item. Magic resistance, we kind of want on somebody we want to get something big off. So we'll go for Kunker with that. And the Gloves of Haste. Uh, give them to maybe Warlock, actually. And we'll keep saving our gold, because we've got a good lineup here. We're doing pretty well. Yeah, the healing that we've got on our guys is crazy. These two buffs are great. I'm kind of scared to fight Terry Brill again because he's got some gold. He's level 9. Um, he's one to watch. He's the main threat. Flexor and Carl, they're going to die pretty quick. And we're against Flexor. Another easy win, I hope, at least. But don't get cocky, kid. Wow, Shadow Demon, Shadow Fiend just instantly exploded. Okay, that stun has gone out. That's helpful. Oh no, this is a really close match. Oh, I think we've lost. We've bit the dust. No way. First defeat for a while. Man. Yeah, he's gone Hunter Heavy. Hunter is a really strong build. Let's put this guy down. Instead of Lone Druid. Lone Druid is a piece of trash. Go home, Lone Druid. You're drunk. Shadow Fiend. Oh my god. Okay, a rematch. Round two. Let's try it. Ah, oh, 
Oh, now this is going a little bit better for us. That stun is important. Oh, this could go either way. This is very close. Oh, but that stun, that stun might have won us the game. Excellent. Terry Bill was defeat be defeated by my army. Flexor with the comeback. Oh, I think we're doing okay. Okay, fishing for another Shadow Fiend. Oh, if we can get a third Shadow Fiend, we will have the biggest Shadow Fiend in the world. Let's get a Witch Doctor to free up a space. There's a Warlock. Could take him, I suppose. I'm not even watching the game now. This is more important. Uh, another Lone Druid. That might be good. Oh, look at this Terry Brill. We are tearing him apart. We really want Flexor to die. Flexor's got eight health left, so we need him to die. Uh, I like our guys. Big dinos. Okay, another loot round. Having four Warlocks is really good for us. Just the, the, the life leech is insane. Okay, here we go. Primordial units, assassins, or Daedalus. Oh, a Daedalus sounds amazing. We're going to go for the Daedalus. And we're going to put it on... Who wants a Daedalus? Conquer, sure. Okay, the stun's come out. But we're losing... We lost the gyro there. Just destroyed us. Okay, we need to get Lich on the field. Flexor is wiping both me and Terrible out now. This is this could be deadly. Could be deadly for us. What item are we missing now? Oh, the Hood of Defiance. Let's put that on somebody important. Maybe the Tiny. I think we want to pull Tusk off the front line. Or maybe even Tiny. Let's pull Tiny off. Put Lich on. Lich, please. Come on, Shadow Fiend. Oof. I'll click past him at this rate. No. No. Okay, so the Hood of Defiance, we'll put it on, uh... Oh, Kunks. There you go. Defy them. So this is Terrible, who's an easier matchup for us. Ah, right, and Flexor is out. Excellent. So we won that, but did he beat us? We beat him, but did his team beat us on his screen? He defe- Ah, oh, 12 damage! I'm really kicking this guy's ass now. Who has a fast attack speed? Who do you want to crit lots? Probably Lich, actually. We need him to get his ulti. Come on, do your ult! Do your ult, Lich! Yes, look at that bounce! Savage! Oh wait, it's just Kunkka left. No! Oh my god, he's gonna get destroyed! That is the power of legendary dudes. Ooh. Okay, we need to we need to spread out a bit more because our problem really is that we're getting clumped up and destroyed by these big ults. That looks good to me. What's he doing here? Look at this, the whole spread. This is actually working really well for him. Oh my god. No, or is it working well for me? Oh, it's it's very close. It's very close. Oh, but the ults, the gyro. Yes, no, yes, we won. Where is he parking his dudes? Okay. So he has them in the back left. So I might just load all my dudes as far forwards as possible. I desperately just want this shadow fiend. It's the dragon. Okay, this is basically a win. But the item we pick here is going to be very important. Okay. Deal 800 to random once. Oh, we want a Dagon. That sounds amazing. All units are one gold cheaper. That's a, it's a bit late for that. Let's get a Dagon. We're going to put a Dagon on somebody. Let's put it on somebody that we reckon is going to get some use out of it. Anybody fire the Dagon? Oh, we're getting savaged. Oh, we're going to lose. We're going to lose our second game. This sucks. 
I'm not sure how I can combat what he's doing. He's just so strong. Yes! Oh, baby. This could be a game changer. All right. Yes, look at that big damage from Shadow Fiends. The bouncers are going around. Was that what we needed to win? No, I don't think Koka can hold this. That's sad. Look at these two level five. He's got a level two Enigma and a level two Gyro. I can't compete with that. I can't compete with that. That's insane. That's an insane amount of damage on those dudes. Let's move everybody over to this corner because uh, this is where he's going to be coming from. And here we go. So we've got to get these and this Enigma and Gyro taken out, but we're just not doing that. It's just savage, just savage. We can't defeat this. Ugh, there's no. He had all the gold to buy those legendary units, and they've won him the fight. So we're gonna move everybody over on this side now. Except one guy, our tankiest guy. So hopefully these guys are going to target Tusk with their ults. No! There's the gyro bomb. Big shame. Oh, but look! That's had a big effect. It's had a huge effect for us. But it's still not enough. Look at that. It's just those two units are un unkillable. We lose this. Those two guys just too, too tough to beat. So we're going to try and sell everything there and get a level 3 Warlock. Oh, Tide Hunter. That's a bit power play. It's got no synergy with us, though. There's another Warlock. Another Lich. Level 2 Lich. Oh my god, look at this. Oh no, these are creeps. Oh my god. Are we going to do this? Are we going to fail? We could fail here. I think we're going to fail. We're going to get defeated by the beast. Defeated by the neutral wave. How embarrassing. Okay. Plus one unit cap. That would have been freaking insane. Equipped hero and adjacent allies have 15 attack. Yeah, okay. So we want to plunk that right in the middle of our dudes. Do we want any of these guys? No. Not really. Assault curious. You can go on that guy. We are still fishing though for a new warlock. Another Warlock. Papa needs a new Warlock. That's what we're fishing for. Techies? No, I'll say no. Gyro. Oof. Almost want to buy it so he can't buy it. There's another Gyro. Let's see how this does. This could be better. This is much better. Oh, we got a win. That level two Lich. Insane. But he was defeated by my army for 11 damage. Oh my god, the comeback is real. Let's move this Tusk over by one. Because I think then the Gyro will target him as well. Uh, what do we want? We want another Warlock, really? Oh, I'm fishing for that Warlock. Another Lich. Oh, no, we'll leave him. We'll leave him be. Okay, so it's, is this going to work? No, it's not. The gyro is still going for these guys over here, and Tusk is getting a beating. Oh, look at that. Is that. Has he got techies as well? I think he's got techies as well. What can men do against such reckless hate? Oh, it was so close. And with the comeback right at the end, I really felt like I had a serious chance, but he just had three legendaries. Two of them were level two. I couldn't compete. I'll be honest, I wasted a lot of cash on re-rolls. Hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time for some more videos. Until then, take care.